guys, welcome to part two of the creating the advanced inventory. In this one we're going to be creating a list and we're going to be adding items from our array to our inventory and be able to remove items as well. And I'll explain a little bit more about lists and how to create them. But first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to have both your scripts open. And we're actually going to change this to a public class just so we don't run into any um, issues later on when we're coding. So in our inventory we're going to need to um, add a simple little setting here. It's going to be import dot system dot collections dot generic. And this is what we're going to be using for our array and our list. I think it helps um, helps the system understand a little bit better about the, the list and whatnot when you're trying to transfer variables over. I don't know if it's a big deal if it's um, if all the stuff is just in one script, but we're just going to put it there just in case. So next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, create our actual list. Here I'm just going to comment out some stuff. It's uh, really nice to come out comment out all your scripts just so you know what everything is. This will be um, holding all of our items. This will be inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable and we're just going to name this main inventory just to make it simple because we're going to be creating um, multiple lists since we're going to be working with also an inventory system later on um, so we'll be able to actually take our items that we pick up add them to our main inventory list and then transfer them over to an actual equipment list so they can equip to our player and the stats can be applied to our player while the item is equipped so right now we're just going to be creating the main inventory. So we'll do list dot, and then in here we're going to want to plug in our class that we created, which is item. This way, um, when we're adding items from our array to here, it'll transfer over correctly, and we won't have any issues. New list dot, and then we're going to want to plug in our item again. and we'll just close that off. And it might look a little bit confusing at first, but this is how Unity has it set up for creating lists out of um, items from an array and whatnot, or from a class specifically. Um, but yeah, that's all we're gonna need to set up for that. And we'll just do a little bit of testing just to get you guys familiar with um, how all this stuff works. So we're going to do a simple start function, and this is where we're, I'm just going to show you how to add and remove um, items from the inventory. In our next tutorial, we'll go um, in more depth how to display items. So when we add an item to our inventory, we can actually view it through the GUI and how to display all that stuff. So for right now, we're just going to be adding um, stuff to this. So we'll do main inventory, and then we can use the dot add, and what this will do is make it so we can add um, items from the array to the actual list itself. Now I should probably explain a list a little bit more. A list is similar to an, an array, but um, if you were to create 10 items in an array, let's say, um, I'll just comment this out real quick and show you. Um, we'll just do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if this was an array, and this is all the items in our, our array, if I were to, um, let's say, null this, or get rid of an item out of that slot, it would just be blank. It would still be there, nothing would move, um, that slot would just be blank. Now for our list, I'll probably have less numbers for this. 
but if we were to have 0, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's say we ended up getting rid of 2. So what would happen is if we got rid of 2, that's how the list would look. It would move everything over, and it wouldn't still display as, like, this would be changed to, to 2, this would be 3, but it would still be the same um, items in there. So if this was a sword, this was like an axe, um, a staff, a bow, and you got rid of, like, um, your sword, all of them would move over, and they would still be the same, but it just keeps it in a nice list, so if you had a list of items and you got rid of one, they would all move up, so there wouldn't be that space left. And that's what using a list is good for. You can remove um, specific items that way, and it's a lot easier to use. Arrays are still nice for just creating the, um, the items itself, or whatever you want to do for that. So, getting back into our tutorial, um, main inventory.add and we're going to want to add something from the array. So since we have currently two items, um, zero and one slot, um, are filled up, I still have to go back and um, add a little bit to the item for the second one since it's blank right now, so we can test that a little bit more. Um, but we can do dot add, and we'll take items, which is from our, um, from our array. And we'll want to grab, let's say, we want to add the first one. And that's how to add um, the first item to our main inventory. So let's say we picked up an item, and this is the code. And we picked up an item, which was the sword, so it got added to our inventory there. Now we can do a simple debug.log. And maybe we want to do see here. Mean inventory. And we'll check for slot zero. Dot. And for this dot, we can actually access um, different variables in here. So we could grab a name if we wanted to. So we could do dot name. So this will pretty much print out um, It'll add the first item, and then our debug.log will check our main inventory, our zero slot, which that got added to, and it'll check what the name is. Now we could also do this um, for all the other elements. If we wanted to just, well, this is probably not how you'd want to do it, but we're just going to do it this way for now. If we wanted to grab a uh, description. And we'll just save that off. Hey guys, I just paused the recording real quick just to try figuring out what the issue was. I went back and I checked, and I was not supposed to have the decimal there, so this is just supposed to be a space instead, and that's why it wasn't working in the first place. And it turns out that you do need this in order to get the list to work correctly because I wasn't able to get it to work without it. So yeah, so pretty much we have that all set up. We got the item our items, we got our main inventory, and we add the items, and it should um, show up in our debug.log when we start it up. So we'll go in here, no more errors, and we'll press play. And we'll just pop up our council real quick, and we can see here, sword, and a sword. So we're also going to go and do this real quick for the other one, um, just to get a feeling for how we're going to be accessing this stuff. So For our second element, we'll make this an axe, and description a axe, and um, the six, fit, or fifteen, um, attack speed one point eight. I don't know. It doesn't really matter what we um, do with any of this. This is just going to be able to show you guys how to display more items. So what we are going to do, and normally what you'd want to do is you'd want to create a plus and 
add to there, but um, we're not going to be doing it that way for right now. So we're going to be doing one and one. And on top of that, we are also going to be adding um, zero and one. So we're going to save this real quick. I'll explain this, what the zero and one is. Um, so in items, when we create this, um, sword would be zero, axe would be one, two, three. When we're creating arrays and lists, um, the number always starts at zero. So the first one is always going to be zero. And then the next one, one, two, three. So even though there are four items in here, it just goes up to three, starting at zero, if you guys understand that. So for, when we're adding zero and one to our main inventory, I'm saying I want to add the sword and axe to our inventory. And that's what happens, and now it'll display both those on there. So when we go in here, we press play, and we'll go and check out our console. Sword, a sword, axe, a axe. We could also print all the other variables, but I'm just giving you guys a feeling for what we're going to be doing. So next time, like I said before, we're going to be um, displaying these items as a button and um, showing you how that all works out and then from there I'll expand on how to actually do a hover over so when we hover over an item it'll display all these stats that we want to display for each item and we'll do a couple of different things like that so stay tuned for the next tutorials